And with that, I should journey on to Bolshore. Yeah, I've had some long layovers, man. Luckily, this is just a one stop thing. Hopefully, it doesn't have any delays starting out. It's pretty average, you know. Midwest flight, so. Oh, is it? Is there nothing? I'm surprised there's nothing crazy in Hawaii. Where's like the. What's the big touristy part of Hawaii? Is that like. I can't remember what the big island's called. Probably save here. I mean, I could do more, but I'd rather just get a few minutes to just kind of chill and think about shit. Honolulu on Oahu is really touristy. Okay, I figured I'll Honolulu. The big island on Maui. Okay. 36. Who's next, man? I guess it'd be the, uh... The Alchemist, man. Got the Alchemist, and we got, um... If I got Alchemist, then... Her, and then I guess this guy. I'm not as interested in him. But, that would be cool enough. None of the stories would be, like, bad. <sighs> if I did another one, we could probably finish it, but on the off chance, I can't. I don't really want to stop midway. These are all bite-sized, like, hour or two-hour stories, so... We can at least work there, talk to the townspeople. That's a, that's a, there's a little compromise. Let me just jump straight in some story when I get back. We could probably end up doing this. I'm not gonna try it. We got other stuff. A dragon's vest. Oh shit. Some good stats on her. Really, I just want to get stuff that has like attack power though. Lost the DFW airport, Dallas, Fort Worth. So we're not going to tell a different part of that. How many hours do you have so far that I've played in the game? 30. Um, until I need to be gone. I'm going to wake up in 9 hours. So. I mean, I could just get 6 hours of sleep too, but. Do some shit here. I'm gonna wake up, take a shower, get the last of my shit packed. And just like shit that I need for cleaning and stuff. So that'll be that. Yeah, 30 in this game. I think it's supposed to be at least 60. Probably a pretty good chance that it goes longer than that. I do have the random battles toned down. Hmm. Oh yeah, might as well wait for it to go on sale. There's supposed to be a sequel and I don't think the prequel on the phones is a... Uh been fully translated or translated at all, so... Not like you gotta... be in a rush or anything. And it's Square, dude. They put their shit on sale pretty often. <laughs> yeah, it's good so far. There's a lot of depth of the combat with the boost system and the breaks and the secondary jobs and the gear and stuff. 
It's not like overly complicated, but I mean, you know, it keeps it comfy like most RPGs, but there's a lot of cool cool tactics and stuff going on. Which makes sense for a more modern JRPG. I mean, it needs to kind of have a more crazy, crazy combat system. Still familiar, but you know, have that level of depth. I mean, you can go play like Legend of Dragon or something. And there's like, I mean, you just use like three moves over the course of the whole game, and it, it was just totally fine. It's fun. It's build, but they don't want to make it too simple nowadays. Not been too hard yet, but I think we got a pretty good setup. Was oh. part of the reason. I mean, there's a, we've died a few times. I mean, but it's usually walking into something too hard, knowingly. That's kind of different. I do like that the game's kind of just like open. You could go to the level 45 zone, which I have, and I've bought a lot of gear from the 45 zones, which is why I don't take shit for damage. And I have good damage on top of that, because I went into like a high level crypt and just got a chest right in the front door and left and stuff. And... That's, that's kind of cool. But... I like that it's more individual stories. It lets them kind of do a story that wouldn't really survive over an entire course of a game. Now, there's no requirements for the armors now. So, this armor's been pretty good for me. I mean, it's not probably like super godly armor, but it, it does work. This dagger I found is really good though. And you don't need to buy like all of your gear or nothing. And you can get some pretty high level shit by just. Talking to NPCs and like stealing from them or purchasing from them. Huh. Like I bought like a staff for like 70k that has like 300 attack power. 300 elemental attack power from like a mid tier zone so. There's a lot of ways to get good stuff. But yeah you can just walk into the high level zones. I mean you have to, you'll, you might die on the way so you might have to like retry a few times but. I usually have like one or two fights. And I have encounters turned down. I didn't even have the ability to escape turned up. I have like a passive for it, and I still was fine. Did it to a few areas. I didn't really want to explore too much in any dungeons because I'd be getting too cheesy. Like just you know, run around a dungeon and just fucking like <laughs> just reload every time I die just to grab some crazy chests. It's cool. It's cool you can kind of like run around if you want to do that. It probably means that for like speedruns and stuff there's a lot of crazy strats. I could see there being some pretty godly combos when speedrunning the game. Some interesting stuff. There's other jobs too apparently from what I've seen in this. Not just the jobs that the characters have. So I think there's gonna be like five others if the job wheel is an indicator. So we'll see what those are like. I can get the super attack now. I kinda wanna see what this is like. Trifendi's Rage. Sounds pretty good. Hopefully it's like kinda like a crazy summon attack or something. Um, they just kind of suck it up. The enemies don't scale. I just usually boost them with health and shit. Um, I think that's one of the faults of the game. But I'm not really like a dude to like grinding. So like, you go to Valeria, it says level 24, but my guy's like, you know, 14 or something. Yeah, it doesn't scale, which is good. Yeah, which is good. But uh, the XP does, like, I mean, they will level up quicker. I don't think they get scaling XP. I think, the, you know, the requirements are just lower for that level. So my plan is just to use these four, and then I just switch Ophelia out whenever. Um, whenever I need to put somebody else in for their story. 
And then, like, you know, they'll get a few levels every time you pull them out. So. As long as my three dudes can handle anything, which has been totally, I mean, everything's been a breeze. And so I've got secondaries and explored. And I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> Good day. Even if they're really low level. It's not like I can't just, like, go grind for, like, two seconds on some high level shit, but I don't need to. <clears throat> What's up, Lassie? I'm not gonna be on too much longer, man. <clears throat> I'm finish up prepping for some, some trip shit, but I'm great. I have to pay for my reputation to go down. <clears throat> How you doing, man? Oh. Can't find shit to play. I want to play, oh, man. Hopefully, you're able to settle down on something soon, man. Yeah, FF10 is fun, man. It's a pretty interesting one. It's got a pretty unique vibe. Cool, dude. I'll enjoy your coffee. <clears throat> I'm just kind of exploring the town. I'm not going to start the story here because I don't know if I'd have time to finish it. The ability map thing, the grid or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Was it the sphere grid? They tried to do that in some other other Final Fantasies, but that it's best in that one. Yeah, all of those times where I don't know what I want to play, but. Once I play, I mean, I stick to it, and I, I tend to enjoy it. Haven't had that issue too much. But I will sit there and just be like, hmm, I don't know what the fuck I want to do, kind of thing. Here and there. I want to pay 32000 for this. I mean, it's a pretty sizable upgrade. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Uh, uh, I'm not going to use her right now. I'm gonna do it anyways, though. I got the money, man. The sphere grid, yeah. Good day. Yeah, thirteen does a sphere grid, but it's like a linear sphere grid, so it's kind of shit. They mix it up in other ones. 12 has a pretty crazy system. Or a system similar to that. Unless you do the IZJS version, then it's pretty linear. And I didn't like that at all. That's part of the reason I didn't like the game. i be fresh with a plane if I feel like that. I'm gonna die once and quit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it happens. I'm being frustrated with the game. I tend to not get like super bored with games much either. But I think it's because I'm pretty easy to please. And I'm pretty careful about picking shit based on my mood and all that. Which is why sometimes it'll take me a bit to figure out what I want to play, but not because of lack of options. Because I'm slave to my own whims. Stream helps too. Especially for shitty games. I enjoy playing shitty games on the stream. I need to play more of like really bad games. The only time I get really pissed is when games are like really shitty. And boring? Or are they like hard and boring? That kind of sucks.
I could steal that shit from him and make a lot of money. I like talking critically about shit too, so I mean, if something's really bad, it's... You get a certain level of, like, enjoyment out of, like, talking about why it's bad. Especially if there's people to discuss it with. Definitely can add some fun. The only thing I worry about with streaming is like, in terms of the game, is uh, getting distracted easily. I probably don't play as good on stream as I would off stream. Unless I'm talking more and having that line of thought going on. It's probably not by much because I'm so used to it, but I mean, I'm sure it's super focused. I mean, you just play better. That and, uh, Fucking, uh, story stuff. I gotta make sure I'm not cracking jokes too much or, like, breaking myself out of story. So sometimes I will, like, cut cameras and stuff. It's pretty easy to, like, break yourself out of some kind of immersive shit, which is not good. I don't like Aruna games. Plot or something, because I'm fucking streaming. Sometimes I just, just play too much and go for days without touching anything else. And some arcade stuff like True Fire and Short Bruce. Play too much. Whoa, this wizard's rod, dude. I just bought a fucking new rod, man. Oh my god. I have to go find the merchant. My job hurts. Han is in the back of my mind. It's hard for me to just relax. I get all that shit here. It's hard for me to sit down. Oh yeah, absolutely. Which is why, I mean, that's my thing. Is I know I've got like a trip tomorrow. And, like, I could just stream for another two hours. There's no reason I couldn't. But like, because that's gonna happen. I just feel like I need to just sit around. And just kind of like, bake. <laughs> you know, there's not like a whole lot of reason. Yeah, that that's my thing with stressful stuff. I'm just, you know, I don't no stuff going on. It's hard to like relax. I mean, streaming and stuff's my kind of like chill activity, but you get you got. I mean, you'll see. I'll, I'll say I'm like distracted or I'm like stressed here and there, and I'll just not say much and I get off, you know. Same thing. I can't blame you guys on that. I'm wasting my time doing nothing? No. Yeah, I've never considered my free time activities as a waste of time. As long as I know that I'm not fucking just doing stupid shit, like, you know, if the jobs, applications and shit are out there, you know, it's all good. I'm just one who, like, can't stop thinking about stressful shit that's on the table, but try to remove those stressors. <laughs> well, you can't, everybody gets them, man. You can't do that great of a job of it. This doesn't cost too much. Jeez. It is. I just bought that other fucking staff, dude. That's what kills me, man. This is why I don't like buying gear from, like, stores and shit. It always ends up like this. I mean, I, I, the money's not a big deal. Like, I still got over 100k. I have never sold any of my gear yet. I like to just try to find all of my gear. But I'm okay with paying high prices for, like, something I think is going to help me break the game, really. And this game lets you do a lot of shit like that if you have the money for it. But I think it's a cool way to use your money. 
Instead of just having like every single town have like fucking bazillions of dollars worth of like gear you have to like upgrade, you get to choose to like spend a lot on cool stuff. If I wanted to farm money, I could just put a thief passive. I could put collect on the thief and put the double collect fucking passive and just farm money that way. It's not really an issue ever. Not better than his staff. Jeez. Put that on then. Probably not healthy. Oh, having that kind of mentality. I don't know. I feel like it's a pretty common thing. It's just hard to... It's hard to be chill when there's shit going on that's stressful. Stress is not like a chill thing, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, I do that, too. I mean, not all the time. I don't let a lot of things stress me out, but when I am stressed, I think about it a lot. Especially, for me, uh, it's usually, like, people's stuff. Like, if there's something up in the family, or I think somebody's, like... You know, something happened, or... Like, I remember back when I was doing the presentations and shit, I'd think about a presentation for, like, a month. It just stressed me out the whole time. Like a job interview. Stuff like that. There's just not a lot of things that I think... It's weird. Yeah, like, when I do get stressed out, it's pretty bad. Not like horrible, but like, don't let a lot of things ever get to that level. A lot of things aren't a big deal to me. But when they are, it's bad. <laughs> it's like an off and on. Oh yeah, no, that's that's pretty, that's pretty extreme. I think the most stressed I ever was was in, in college, first year. I did something I didn't usually do, which was like, it was like a pace yourself online kind of class. And, uh, and usually I'm good about keeping up with stuff, but I let myself just kind of get really far behind figuring I could just catch up quick. And then I was like, fucked, man. I was like super stressed because I hadn't failed many things before. That was pretty fucked. There's a bunch of other classes that asshole teachers and shit. That was pretty bad. I mean, I've been stressed in like, like a fear way before. In certain interactions with people. Never been so stressed I like fucking chat blood or not. I think my brother has them. Russian pace themselves? Yeah. I mean, usually I'm fine, but it was like an online class and it was weird and I didn't like it and just... And I was not used to like any kind of failure or not getting shit done. And it was like a full ride I was on and shit, so it's just like weird. I mean I didn't lose it, I just ended up just dropping the class, it wasn't a big deal, but I ended up just going to different school anyways. Exercising? Exercising's a great way to feel better about shit. Better about yourself and just better even just right then on the spot. Especially since you want to lay down the pace as soon as possible because it's just going to keep getting harder. Yeah, for sure. It's like because a lot of freshman stuff's pretty heavy. And it's not always something you're interested in either, so you get like a lot of heavy work. And I think it's definitely a bigger variety of like 
shit teachers because they know their class is just taken by everybody, so they, they're kind of... I don't know if disgruntled's the word for it, but disillusioned to the whole teaching thing. So, I mean, later... In later semesters and years, I had more work, but it was some stuff I cared more about and teachers who cared more about it. So it didn't feel as bad. And I was used to it, I guess. Post run high, yeah. I need to run enough where I don't get like super fucked afterwards. Once I can get to that point where I'm like all good, I'd like to be able to hit that runner's high. Usually my, I'm just like fucked before I can even hit that point. <laughs> I was doing some elliptical not too long ago, but elliptical was pretty chill. I just need to stick to it. I just don't. Like, nobody's, like, looking at me, and I'm not, like, big or nothing. I was like, I know I should work out more. It's one of those deals. There's just not many reasons to do it. There's reasons I, like, I, I know I probably should care about, you know, like, health and stuff, but it's nothing, like, really immediately there. I'm okay with having long-term goals and shit, but... I don't know. It's one of those things, just like, yeah. I don't know. I guess I've never... Uh, I'm trying to, like, talk myself up. But I've just never really thought about the stress thing. I like to think I'm pretty just laid back and don't let a lot of things bother me too much, but... People's views of me... And any kind of, like, familial or, like, friend drama... That shit stresses me out. I think how people view me and shit can stress me out. Obviously I'm not too worried about it, because I just sit here like a fucking bum on the stream. But when it's like an actual drama thing, that, that shit bothers me. I'll think about it all day and night. But job situations and school stuff do too. But, uh, I try to never do anything that's like a big mistake. And I try to not let myself be in a position where I could be stressed because I fucked up. Or I'm on somebody's bad side. Maybe I care a lot about stress, but it's like stress prevention, so I don't end up in that situation. I don't know. It's hard to think about. It's one of those just like weird, like I'm trying to like fucking categorize my entire personality, you know, into some fucking little bullshit. This was in the last part of the nuke school in the Navy. I was working, I to working 14 hours a day, eventually it kicks me out. It was the happiest day of my life. <laughs> what did, that's how you know it must have really sucked. <laughs> so, so, as soon as you got him, just, ah, so good. Yeah, they can go kind of hard, man. My friend used to tell me a lot of stories when he was doing the Navy. Seems pretty, uh, didn't always mesh well. He and Kobe didn't go anywhere, and I was out of money, I had some debt. I got the back, I barely got to the garage, so I was staring at one door. Yeah, dude, that's really rough. I'm glad it doesn't feel like that anymore. At least not as bad. Yeah, I can only imagine, man. It's be really hard being like kind of like entrepreneur thing, especially in such a you know, competitive fucking market and stuff. Lassie's like 28, 29, 30, something like that. He's pretty young. Are we thinking of Safi, dude? He's like 16 or some shit. <laughs> yeah, it'd just be so hard, man. That's one thing, too, is just like the fear of failure and all that. Look at that tears of happiness. Nice, man. I still gotta play your game, I think I own it. If you ever did it again, you think you'd just kind of keep it as like a passion project on the side? I don't know, did you put like all your chips down when you originally did it or what? That'd be the scary thing for me is like quitting like a job or like putting all the risk on for it. 
I know a lot of people do that. I mean, like the Cuphead people did it and shit. I know you like have to sometimes. Man, it's just so risky nowadays. There's so many great games that never even get noticed, man. That's what sucks. A lot of it can just be luck. I'll see with a few other people. Are you still working or is it just like a full time thing on that? Yeah. I'm not saying people shouldn't take risks or anything, but. Just a crazy thing, man. Full time? Yeah, dude. How many games did you guys end up making? Just the cube one or? That'd be cool if you ever did any on the side again. I know you're talking about fiddling around with it. So that kind of thing didn't ruin your passion for it. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like fucking walking around. I guess the stream thing's kind of similar. I don't consider my stream... It really depends on what you're at, wanting out of it. I don't consider my stream thing a failure. At all. I'm really happy where it's at. And the people and all that. But I guess it's because of what I want out of it, it's a little different. Because I just like doing it for fun. Like, if I was trying to make a living, it's an absolute failure. It's seven or eight years streaming almost full-time. And I've got, like, I can't even fold, like, ten viewers, right? <laughs> Absolutely. If I was, like, it was, like, ninja or some shit looking down on me, total failure. But, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those deals, like, you can get, everybody gets something different out of stuff. I didn't have to, like, give up anything to stream. And just doing it was kind of kind of a reward in its own. I got any of the company time anyway. I make a game by myself, but then I think about how I can't make my art, can't story. Yeah, exactly. I think it's definitely what you go into. Like with streaming originally, there was a period, like I said, of like six months or something where I tried to make streaming like this. You know, serious thing, I would talk, you know, more clear and, you know, deep and... You know, just, I'd stream on schedules and play certain things and... No, no, I didn't really do that too much, but it was just like... Made it really suck. And you'd like, focus too much on followers and views and... I think I made the stream shitty. And made me feel... Not like, total shit. I didn't stick to it for long, but not great. Maybe not want to do it. I guess it's a similar thing to probably making games and stuff. Yeah, if you go in with your expectations set too high or... You know, there's people who come out of high school and quit their... Don't do anything or they just quit their jobs and everything to become like... Try to become esports pros and shit. It's like... I mean, if you just love playing the game just to do it and doing small competition, that's cool. But like, you can't expect to be like the 0.1% always. You've never programmed or nothing? Yeah. Man, there's some people who make some really well, kind of class game, I mean. That was all one guy, I mean, there's some people who got some skill. I mean, it wasn't like the best game ever, but... Impressive for one dude. But I mean, he had Kickstarters and, you know, a lot of time and... Stuff like that, so. It's possible, man, somebody's gotta do it. Yeah, it's just how much drive, I guess. And if you care that much. I suppose. I wouldn't mind making a game. Stardew Valley's one, dude? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's quite a few. 
I think uh, Salt and Sanctuary was just a couple. Stuff like that. I mean, some of these people, it's not their first game either. But, yeah. I mean, somebody's got to do it. But it's like... Like, I might not be doing much of that kind of stuff, but I would never look down on somebody for wanting to try to do it. Because, like... It's not like these other people are just like ascended humans, you know, like... Could be you, could be me, like... It's worth giving a shot if you care enough. Market style games will see that cost you bucks, they're relatively accessory, does them as a hobby, and works as software developer full-time elsewhere. See, that's cool. Yeah, my brother wants to get into music and stuff like that. But yeah, he's trying to do it like in a reasonable way, because it's really hard to get into music stuff. I like his stuff. But he's gonna try to just, you know, work and then have it be his passion on the side, because... I mean... You put yourself in a bad spot trying to go, like, all in on... something as competitive as, like, an art medium, entertainment medium. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know the history of a lot of these guys. That's probably the case. Well, it's cool seeing somebody do the music and the art and all that. Cave Story was one guy. Yeah. I mean, even then, some of those, I mean, those games where it's just one person, they work on it for so long and so many iterations, I mean, they might as well have just made a bunch of games. yourself to those people as long as you assume yourself a disservice in? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm just saying that with hard work and shit, you could get to that point if you cared. It's possible. Yeah. I don't know. With the entertainment and stuff, getting the money and the success and all that, just, I don't know, it seems like so much luck and shit. Probably just depends on what you want out of it. Yeah, like trying to make another Last of Us game or something, man. Yeah. Maybe a little too out there. Oh, exactly, man. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say, is like, there's good stuff. I'm not really talking success money when I was talking about that shit before. It was more like, you can make something good by yourself, enough work and practice and shit. But like, success money and shit, like, I don't know, like, totally different. Like, I mean, I've played a bunch of games where I'm probably the only person who's ever played them that are better than a lot of the huge the huge games out there. Like, popularity is not an indicator of anything. I mean, you see all the huge AAA games that are just dog shit. Some are great, but I mean... Some aren't. And that's what I like about indies, is like, you can just find these gems. It makes me feel bad a lot of the times, because I'm like, wow, this game is so good, and I'm like, the only guy who's played it. That's why I like when people recommend me shit, because it's like, that could be the, the guy who's only played that game, and it's just this great hidden gem. I don't know. It just sucks. There's just so many of these games, there's just not enough time, and... 
you know, shit just gets lost in a sea of shit. A lot of people aren't willing to try new stuff, and they just want to play what everybody else is playing, which, I mean, I get to a certain point, but it just makes it really hard. Just like with music, it's just like with, I mean, it's like with streams, too. It, it, popularity is just it's all the same. I like seeing there's some people out there who can sing, but only a few make it big, yeah. It's like people who'd be able to, like, you know, be good at certain jobs, or, you know, actors, or... Somebody's really good at this one thing. They just have, like, they don't know the right guy, or... There's just one situation they weren't put in... To let them, uh... Kinda ever try that, that potential or something. Kinda meet that potential. I don't know. I'm not trying to say everything in the world's luck. <laughs> of course hard work matters and shit like that, but... I don't know. When it comes to money and success, I feel like a lot of it's luck. That's why I like tapered expectations and shit and just... being happy with... things that aren't exactly money or important. I mean, like, you need money and success is important, but like, fuck you. I guess I could always try to show relate shit to the stream. <laughs> if I let myself get beaten up over the stream success, like I'd be a pretty sad guy. And I wouldn't be here. Free for this week? Oh cool. I wish I knew some programming. Like if I was just a robot and I could just know more shit, but I don't think I'd put in the time. I don't think I care enough to put in the time to learn it. Like, it would be useful, but I don't think when my passion's this kind of stuff, like, it would really do much for me. It's kind of like learning other languages, like, it'd be great, but at the end of the day, like, I just want to stream and hang out and talk to people. Mm -hmm. Learn about people and games and, you know, discuss stuff. So programming doesn't do shit for me there. I got nothing against programming. I mean, of course, obviously I'm playing stuff that's programmed all day and night, but... It's like learning other languages. I sure would love to learn another language, but what would I do learning Japanese? I'd just be able to watch anime easier. I mean, I guess if I wanted to move into certain job fields or have more of like a, a job outlook, it'd be good. But like, I don't care much. Uh, I've been just talking in circles and saying random shit all night. I probably painted myself. I don't know what I painted myself to be. Probably just some fuck who doesn't understand how shit goes. It's full of. Little fucking plat.